hi guys we're back again with another fountain pen video and in today's exciting title <laughs> why i don't want to buy these brands anymore so i'm sure most of you also have experienced the same after some time collecting fountain pens you would you would know which what which brands are for you and which brands you don't feel like kind of spending your money on so for me just um, disclaimer these are just all uh as per my opinion and my experience after collecting these brands some for some time now or this pen and i'm not here to you know share and wanting you to do the same it is just mine my take and feel free to comment your opinions and what not just be kind in, in your comments and i'm pretty sure the community is also open to each and everybody's opinion on pens <music> So the first on my list of the fountain pen brands or pens that I want to discuss is I'm so sorry if you love this brand I will apologize in advance but it's the fountain I mean Ferris wheel press um, brand fountain pen yeah not inks um, the reason behind this I mean my list is not in order it's what i can see from my <laughs> pens arranged here so the first one i i grab is the fountain i uh, ferris why i keep saying fountain pen because of fwf ferris wheel press fountain pens i think they're better off with um inks i think i mean yes their branding their packaging it very well so much of lux on it luxury premium feel on the packaging but when it comes to their pens i don't know correct me if i'm wrong or i know some of you already i've read some comments don't get me wrong they write so well it's just that um material wise i mean for this i feel like nothing is um much difference with the Kaweco plastic wise and the platinum what is that clear one <laughs> um preppy or kakuno for pilot so it falls to me it falls in th that range this kind of pen the carousel um the plastic one so if you ask me why I'm, I'm not buying another Ferris wheel press pen, it's because of the price. And to me, getting this brand coming here, plus the logistic custom tax and stuff, it's not worth it. Even though I order it straight from the website, I know people do that. And it's their call to pay so much tax or, you know, use credit cards. But... To me, I don't use, obviously, I don't use credit cards to purchase my pens. And so, the means of paying it online, I don't know how <laughs> as well. Um, I can only pay PayPal connected to my debit card or other kinds of form of using debit card. But credit card is a no for me when it comes to this hobby because I know one can really go overboard. In spending so to me Ferris wheel press is a no buy for me anymore because believe it or not I got this from a third-party seller here it's not their fault I know they have to top up and margin up because of the taxes I got this around um, let's say $200 yeah I got this around $200 for for juta four million rupiah i think so can you believe for this pen alone because i really like to try the brand it's really really not worth it i'm not sure maybe this is only 80 dollars i think it's so long guys so and yeah imagine i was also dying and eyeing to have for that 
the, the steel one or you know those very beautiful white like some deep pen looking the premium ones i don't know maybe four hundred dollars five hundred dollars for that i'd rather get another say lamy more than this brand so i hope you understand why this brand was on my list okay moving on next on my brand that i will not repurchase is the narwhal i'm so sorry narwhal is everywhere now hyped with their nautilus model i forgot that but i've known narwhal even before they rebrand and they you know now now they changed the name the logo but this was the tango and i love this this is not going anywhere in my collection it's still there it's just that i'm not gonna purchase any more narwhal brand because i had the key west isla morada the gold sparkling one i sold luckily it gets sold but i felt like the quality of the materials used is not um what do you call that not really good because it was just on my case and the converter cracked um i still don't clean thoroughly my pen that time i just um rinse them off with water no ultrasonic machine but when i wanted to ink it i've seen the converter was you know smashed like you know you have those old glass and then because it's really really old it cracks on their own <laughs> that's how i describe it and i'm very very careful with all my pens scratching crack and all i'm so so you know into taking good care of them and it's just a disappointment that it was just stored and it's cracked and i never you know it's just a plain converter guys so it it i couldn't be pushing it hard you know it's just that the plastic used was not as up to par like you know can last long so that was a turn off major turn off for me for narwhal luckily i had i got it sold even and the reason like maybe you think oh it's just a converter you can change it to another converter yes i know but getting a converter and it maybe jean how fits with that i'm not sure but i was asking the seller if it's available the converter only he said no it's no longer available things like this really turned me off if i cannot replace the parts so i've learned my lesson and buying pens that for twist v for example it's easy to acquire sailor platinum you know narwhal i think is u.s brand if i'm not mistaken but i'm not sure where they are made of uh so this one is good because it's a piston fill. There's no converter on it. And as I've also seen one of Karina's uh, video, he she was talking about um, some parts were replaced by Narwhal. So, in, and it was fairly a new pen that she used. So meaning they really don't have don't have a good quality checking on their pens. I mean that's just my opinion and anyway they returned I and mean they replaced her pen but again she lives in canada imagine if i'm in indonesia shipping and all this um back and forth is really a no-no for me so i'm giving narwhal a break i am not anyway into the vibes of the new release designs they have you know those um those who have holes here i don't get that kind of design or i don't feel um it add, i mean lined up in my collection i just don't know why i'm not falling in love with that kind of design okay so narwhal peeps peace <laughs> be with you it's just my take and third on my list is the y studio which i will just flash a picture here while i'm talking because it's not here with me anymore um so i've i've sold like around seven pens i put on on for sale and two are left which is the two i'm gonna mention now first is the y studio um classic revolt the black one all brass pen 
um it's one of the last two pens that's not sold but i shipped it i mean i left it in the philippines because um i sold all my pens in mostly some are sold here in indonesia but mostly are sold in um philippines so for me to post a listing in fountain pen palenque the pen the admin told me that the pens should be in the philippines for easy shipping and easy payment transactions or refunds or whatnot so i left it with my family and whenever somebody's buying they ship it for them so i just sold the rest except for this y studio and um the last i mean the next on my list is the opus 88 so sorry the y studio I, I just remember now it's it was sold here in indonesia the other one is the opus 88 one is the one in philippines the iris back are the ones sold there but anyway the pens that i'm selling are in the philippines so if you're watching this and you're from the philippines i still have the um opus 88 mini the checks flashing again here and the other one is the sailor uh, 1911 and so those two are left unsold anyway so yeah that y studio is is um a brand that i tried you know i always buy one like this um laban if i like i buy another one so the y studio is introduced to me and um i realized that you know when you're a collector and you know like the aftermath oh i don't really like this i don't really love this the good thing is with fountain pen we can sell it we can resell it so for me the the y studio classic revolt um i realized that brass pens like my kaweko where is it um heavy pens uh is no longer my are no longer my um vibe because writing for so long with these brass pens not only it's not comfortable but it's also there's a smell and you know it's heavy heavy on me on my small hands and you know when you're aging i think the carpal tunnel is waving high <laughs> so brass pens is no longer um into my in my collection i mean lineup list wish list so that's the third brand that I'm not buying anymore. I know Y Studio still have a lot of different um, designs, but I'm happy with now with Laban and Twisby. They're all Taiwan brands that I mentioned. So that's the third. And for the fourth brand, like I mentioned, the Opus um, 88. I know the the Opus Mini 88, Opus 88 Mini is is. Um, a second choice let's say when i wanted to try the brand because um i really like the coffee design on that it was a collaboration with an artist but it's not available and what i got here is the checker the black and white checks on the cup the design so i still want to try out the brand and yes i was happy with how it writes but me being a newbie trying and not even doing thorough research like long time ago i just buy 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 it was not posting and that's a big big no for me although some pens i don't really need to post like my big big pens but it was a mini it was a tiny pen and it's really very difficult for my size it's fine like doable but i prefer that the pen is posted and that part it's in that department it failed so to me like oh why would you generalize it if it's just the mini get another opus 88 big one so now to answer that kind of um question um i find that their big pens also are huge humongous ink capacity like maybe uh, twist b because it's um eyedropper pens fill pens so um, I don't need those kind of big, big capacity. Plus, there is no design that ignites me or excites me. Um, the biggest in pen influencer for me for Opus 88 is Chris Sainz. And she has a lot. And if one day she will show a pen of Opus 88 and I really, really like the color, I will buy maybe. But for now, Opus 88 is on my 
no buy list at the moment okay so that's the th fourth brand the fifth i think i've mentioned this in my previous video is the lamy no negative reaction just that i'm just done with this brand with this pen i mean yeah brand i've i have eight of them if you haven't seen the video i'm gonna link it up i mean yeah card it up here in the upper right so i have eight guys eight safaris all stars and one lamy 2000 do you think i still need more <laughs> But, yes, I've explained in that video, so I don't want to talk more. So, yeah, Lamy is the no-buy anymore for me. The brand that I'm not gonna buy anymore. Like, I've had enough. Same with Twisby, but Twisby, as I've explained, it's not that... Um, I'm not closing doors for Twisby. Anyway, the video is going so long now. I'm talking too much. But if you have also those fountain pen brands you're not looking to buy anymore, please share in the comment section or we, we do share same sentiments. Drop a hi. I'd really love to communicate with you guys and I appreciate those who are always my constant commenter. Shout out to everyone. Charmaine, Anna Costa, everybody here, Ken, whoever is watching. Thank you so much and like and subscribe please to my channel and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!